Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a relatively easy way of addressing the issue where you've got the whites of the eyes, also known as the sclera, that's got some discoloration in, it's got some sort of actual physical damage, looks like, and a number of veins here. So, what we want to do first of all is to create a mask. And a very easy way to do this is you could use the uh, selection brush here but I tried and it didn't work too well because there's a lot of soft edges so what I do is go here click on the quick mask there then go to a paintbrush and you need the white uh, there and what this acts here as you can see is you, you you paint here on it it's going to paint through the red is not selected and the white will be selected we paint over the edge of the white here deliberately into the edge there because doing this is something that it's easier to paint away the edges from the outside particularly when you're getting up into those little corners as well so you literally go around here fill in the bit there yeah there is it certainly needs addressing doesn't it and then switch to black and brush here, so that's around about 20%, um, opacity 100%. Then, oh, and then you be painting away here. You set the values to whatever you want. See, I'm literally putting it back. So, so with the the iris here, I want to just cover up all the blue. So I don't want that to appear in. And see, this is much, much easier to do this way around than trying to paint it from the other side and because it's you're painting on this with a black and white if you overshoot you can easily switch color and go back the other way right I'm gonna stop now and skip forwards so you don't have to watch me rambling all the time okay there you go that's that selected so we just hit quick mouse there and we've got our selection so we're going to come back to that in a moment but first of all we're going to put in here a shape so i'm going to right click on here but first of all hold on the control key and roll the mouse wheel to zoom out a bit because i right click on the shapes go to the ellipse tool go to the center here and control shift and drag out from there there we go, and make a kind of rough eye shape there. Actually, the shape doesn't matter too much, but it does helpful to make it uh, like this. And then all I do is put the mask on. So I'm just going to go to the mask tool here, and that will use the selection to create a mask. There we go. So that I could got this. I see here, in fact, I got some bits here I missed out on the mask. That's very simple to fix. I need to go there, go to a paintbrush, and it's with white, and there we go. I just paint over those bits there. See, very, very easy to compensate where it hasn't quite worked. Control D, by the way, will let you get rid of the marching ants. So that's okay. So now then, that's obviously a little bit unrealistic. So what we want to do is do a couple of things. One is we want to put a gradient into it. You want to make this darker, this side. So you could simply go to the ellipse. And the one reason to use a shape is that it sustains a gradient. You can come back to it later. So it's non-destructive. Go to the gradient tool and just draw a line across here. And this is going from white to black. Um, that's a little bit black this side. So we want to turn this color down. But before we do that, I want to have a look at this. I'm just going to go out again. And with this, turn off the mask so we can see the whole sphere here, or at least the part here. This actually doesn't look spherical like an eyeball should be. And we can make that as an improvement by going, instead of going to linear, going to radial. And this now looks more like an eye should be. So, and we turn this back on again, go to, I've got the gradient tool here, I can click on this end of it here and change the colour there. 
I've got the wheel here, so click there, the wheel. That's a lot easier to use because I can now just change that, that end of the gradient. I can also take that little halfway mark there and move this up and down to change that gradient there. And to make it more realistic again, again it's still too white, is I just go to the ellipse and turn down the opacity a bit. You start to see bits of the air underneath, but that's okay. That actually makes it more realistic. So we can go back down to that and we can always go back to the gradient and say, uh, just let's make that a little bit darker at that end there. See, so we can easily adjust it. It's non-destructive, which is one reason this method is particularly good. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.